to what degree do you use uh, agentic approaches? How useful are agents? We think agents are really, really cool. Like, I, I, I think <laughs> <Okay. laughs> agents is like, uh, it's like it resembles sort of like a human. It's, it's sort of like the things, like you can kind of feel that it, like you're getting closer to AGI because you see a demo where um, it acts as as a human would. And, and it's really, really cool. I think um, agents are not yet super useful for many things. They, I think we're, we're getting close to where they will actually be useful. Uh, and so I think uh, there are certain types of tasks where having an agent would be really nice. Like I would love to have an agent. For example, if like we have a bug where in, you sometimes can't command C and command V uh, inside our chat input box. And that's a task that's super well specified. I just want to say like in two sentences, this does not work please fix it. And then I would love to have an agent that just goes off, does it, and then uh, a day later, I, I come back and I review the, the thing. You mean it goes, finds the right file? Yeah, it finds the right files. It like tries to reproduce the bug. It like fixes the bug, and then it verifies that it's correct. And this is could be a process that takes a long time. Um, and so I think I would love to have that. Uh, and then I think a lot of programming like there is often this belief that agents will take off over all of programming. Um, I don't think we think that that's the case because a lot of programming, a lot of the value is in iterating or you don't actually want to specify something upfront because you don't really know what you want until you've seen an initial version and then you want to iterate on that and then you provide more information. And so for a lot of programming, I think you actually want a system that's instant that gives you an initial version instantly back and then you can iterate super, super quickly. Uh, what about something like that recently came out, Replit Agent, that does also like setting up the development environment, installing software packages, configuring everything, configuring the databases, and actually deploying the app. Yeah. Is that also in the set of th things you dream about? I think so. I think that would be really cool. I, for, for certain types of programming, uh, it, it would be really cool. Is that within scope of Cursor? Yeah. We aren't actively working on it right now, um, but it's definitely like we want to make the programmer's life easier and more fun. And some things are just really tedious and you need to go through a bunch of steps and you want to delegate that to an agent. Um, and then some things you can actually have an agent in the background while you're working. Like let's say you have a PR that's both backend and frontend and you're working on the frontend and then you can have a background agent that does some work and figure out kind of what you're doing and then when you get to the backend part of your PR, then you have some like initial piece of code that you can in iterate on. Um, and, and so that, that would also be really cool. One of the things we already talked about is speed, but I, I wonder if we can just uh, linger on that some more in the, the various places that uh, the technical details involved in making this thing really fast. So every single aspect of uh, cursor, most aspects of cursor feel really fast. Like I mentioned, the apply is probably the slowest thing. And for me, from I'm yeah. sorry, the pain. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I it's, a, it's a pain. It's a pain that we're feeling and we're um, working on fixing it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it says something that something that feels, I don't know what it is, like one second or two seconds, that feels slow. That means that's actually uh, shows that everything else is just really, really fast.